Hey everyone, and welcome to your NC Go Body Pump Workout. My name is Jason. I'll be taking you through this workout. I'm super excited about it. I hope you are as well. As per usual, check out online for our uh, finishers, our mobility tools. We're gonna start off the warm up, get into this body weight pump, and then finish off with our full body sweat. Today's a good one. Let's get after it. It starts off with one minute of cardio. After that, you're gonna need one dumbbell to perform some goblet lunges, as well as some single DB press. So grab a single dumbbell, grab a loaded backpack, grab a form of cardio, and let's have some fun. For one minute, I'm gonna jump on a bike. You could shuttle sprint, you could do burpees, you could jump rope, do whatever you want, but I haven't biked in a while on camera or even bike in general, so I wanted to do it today. We start off with one minute cardio, then get into a four minute EMOM, follow along with me, I got your back. Let's go in 10 seconds. All right. In three, two, one, let's go. Now, as I'm warming up, all I'm thinking about, guys, just getting my heart rate elevated. Now, when I jump on a bike, what I'm thinking about as well is for the seat to be about hip height. Now, on these assault bikes, what I'm also thinking about is where the seat position is. If it's too far forward, it might require me, um, if it's too far forward, I might not be able to get full extension of my arm. If it's too far back, it might really throw off my flow. So when I look at this, I want my seat to be in a position that's comfortable for me. So test your seat forward and backward. Test your, test your seat vertically as well to identify where it feels like you're getting full extension of your leg, which is about hip height. Got about 20 seconds left. Then we're gonna get eight goblet lunges and EMOM with eight single DB press. Now right now, it's just a warm up. Don't go crazy. Five seconds in three, two, one. All right. From here, guys, grab your dumbbell. Goblet position right here. All I'm gonna do is get in my eight goblet lunges. Three. Wanna thank you guys for joining us today. You can be anywhere you want, but you're with us getting after it, which we really appreciate it. From here, transfer that around. Eight single DB presses. And then we get to rest. And relax for 20 seconds. Now, when I'm doing those presses, what I'm thinking about is bracing down my belly, holding strong position. I'm also thinking about working that full range of motion, especially when warming up, guys. When we're warming up, just trying to work range of motion. Get ready for today's workout. Five seconds. Two. One. Let's go. A little bit of lunge action. Same exact thing we were just working. If you want to switch it up a little bit, you can go ahead and go backward. No right or wrong here. Have fun with it. Six. Elbows lead, elbows lead. I hold the top a little bit, kind of open up the shoulders up there. I'm thinking about being aggressive on the way up, but smooth on the way down. Now, if you have a load that's a little bit too light, grab two dumbbells. If you have a load that is way too heavy to perform this, instead, just go ahead and do a few less reps, no problem. Or do the same exact thing with no weight at all. We're just warming up. Here we go. Two, one, game time. Go forward, go back, use this uh, dumbbell, don't. It's your ride. We're just kind of, you know, taking you for one. Here we go. There it is. All right, awesome work. Shake it out. 15 seconds, we get into our last round, okay? Goblet lunges, and then take your time on the next set of uh, shoulder press if you want. Slow it down. I'm probably going a little bit faster 
then maybe we should. We're just warming up. Two, one, here we go. Goblet position, trying to keep my chest nice and tall. Opening it up a little bit, nice and easy. Brace the belly. It's a great day to get a little bit more fit. I don't know about you guys, but I'm fired up for this one. I think that's eight, might have nine, who knows. All right, 20 seconds guys, finish up what you're doing. Okay. This is about to get real right here. Okay, go ahead and take a break. Now guys, in a second, this is about to get real, 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 all right? We're looking for 10, whoops, alternating sit-throughs, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate what we're looking for. You can gauge them and adjust them. This is an EMOM, okay? It's a four minute EMOM, meaning every minute on the minute. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do 10 of these, okay? Now, for those of you who have experience in jiu-jitsu, grappling, wrestling, you may have seen this before as a sit out or a sit through. For those of you who are just purely looking for this as a fitness component, it's an exceptional way to engage the core and move through a, a range of motion. What I'm doing is I'm in this position here. I then, from this position, slow motion, shift my hip out, come here, okay? Alternate here, here, right? After I get 10 of those, I then come back and I hold this quad hold position where my knees are about two to three inches above the ground. I'm just fighting for this. On the next minute, I get my 10 uh, alternating sit-throughs again. This is gonna get real tough real quick. After four minutes that, I rest for a minute. I then I'm gonna get into some double unders and some curtsy lunges, which I'll show you during the break. So right now, here's what we need to focus on. Four minute EMOM, 10 sit-throughs, hold. 10 sit-throughs, hold. You work your best range of motion on the sit-through. If you can only get this far, that's fine. Try and fight for a little bit farther out. Think about it if, we'll put up some videos later on how this relates, but essentially if someone's on top of you and you need to slide out from underneath them, that's how it's used in wrestling and jujitsu, et cetera. But let's say folks on fitness for today. Imam, starting in 10 seconds. 10 sit-throughs, quad hold. Here we go. Three, two, one, ten. You can take these fast, you can take these slow. Once you get your ten, which didn't take me much time at all, uh, I think that was ten, uh, then you hold it. Now on this quad hold, right? If you wanna make it a little bit less challenging, maybe you only use one knee down. Or perhaps if you need to, you can even hold like a, a push-up plank position or a butt-up position or here. But when you're right above the ground, boy, it gets tough. 15 seconds. I'm planting my toes into the back of my mat. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five. Two, one, okay, here we go. 10, good quality sit-throughs. Work through that range of motion. Here we go, fight for it. Fasten your position. From here, I shift, move athletically through your position. If these are really challenging for you, shorten it out, just right here. Or if you need to, be right here, right? Find what works for you. Okay, here we go. Now that you got that done, let's get back to our quad hold. I actually think the sit-throughs are easier than the quad hold. <laughs> 15 seconds, guys. Last three. Two, one. Shake it out a little bit. 
Let's get a solid 10 on our sit throughs, okay? Make these legit. You know that quad hold is gonna come. Here we go. Ready? Let's get it. And then get back in your squat. Hold that position. Now again, if you need to, you can just be in all fours. If you wanna work like a cat-dog position through this, if holding is too challenging for you, work through range of motion here, okay? If you feel good, hold. On this next set of sit-throughs, see if you can move a little bit more dynamically. You shift from one to the next. If you've never done these before, welcome to the sit-through party. Five seconds. Two, one. All right. Let's get some solid sit-throughs. 10 of them. After that, we get a one-minute break. After you eat quad hold. Ready. 10 sit-throughs. Got 30 seconds, guys. Hold that position. Last 10. A couple more seconds. We're going to take a break. All right. That was great, that was fun. Okay, a little different. Now, we're going to a rest for one minute. We get back onto an EMOM. It's gonna be 50 double enters, okay? Now, if you don't have a jump rope, or perhaps 50 double enters just sound crazy hard, we're gonna do some dumbbell taps, okay? All good. Another option is gonna be single unders on your jump rope. Then we're gonna get into curtsy lunges, okay? So you're gonna take your front foot, well, let's just say it's your left, Take your right leg, go behind it, okay? And curtsy, whoop, I messed that up. Here, ching. From here, ching, ching, right? So all you're doing is you're rotating your position and curtsying it. Mine could be a lot better. I gotta work on these. 50 dubs. Let's have some fun with these. Everybody ready? Set, let's go. It's gonna come in handy when we get into our workout today. Now, I gotta redeem myself here. That was pretty bad. I gotta get better at it. I don't practice these enough. I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the minute. Shows a little weakness in my game. I think I was over committing earlier. Okay, 50 dubs again, all right? Stay focused, breathe. Keep your heart rate low. If you need to, switch out right here. 50, just like this, right? Ha, ha, ha. Keep moving through them. I'm using my wrist right now, okay? Deep nasal breathing, keep my heart rate down. Critical for right now. Wrist, elbows are in. I have no idea what number I'm on, but that's about 50. Here we go. I'll get back to dubs on the next one. Let's redeem myself again. There it is. All right. Now we're getting the hang of it. Hopefully you are as well. <laughs> Ugh. 
All right, here we go. 50, guys. Let's see if we can get it again. All right. It's amazing how you do a few rounds of these. Start feeling so much more confident in your position. All right. Let's get it. I think it's our last one, if I'm not mistaken. Big breath. Here we go. I'm using my elbows to stay in. I'm using my wrists to rotate fast. I'm focusing on a place out in front of me to keep my rotation. Woo. I have no idea how many I'm at. Here we go. Another 10 seconds, guys. Then we finish up with those curtsy lunges. There you go. And relax. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that woke me up a little bit. I realized that my curtsy lunge could be a lot better. So next time you see me doing those, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be crushing them, you know? All right, Woo! it's now time. You know what time it is. It's that time, okay? It's that full body sweat time. Now, if your calves are lighting up a little bit, okay, and your feet are a little bit cramped, you go ahead and pause, do whatever you got to do. But take your foot, and if you have a ball, roll it out. If your calf is tight, take some type of elevated position and stretch out your Achilles and your calf to get ready for all the double unders we're doing right now. Now, we're about to do a 10-minute AMRAP, followed by a 2-minute rest, followed by a 10-minute AMRAP. So that's 22 minutes. 20 minutes of total work time, 22 minutes of exercising, essentially, with the rest in between. We have 35 double unders, which we just did. We have 15 split squats left, 15 split squats right. So I'm just in this kind of lunge position, and all I'm going to do is just descend. That's it. Just right there. 15 of these. 15 of these. That's it. Okay, once I get done with those, I'm then going to drop down and get in my favorite exercise of all time. Well, I don't know about that, but it's close to, which is the devil's press, okay? Now, there's a variety of ways you can get into this position, but what I'm thinking about is, from a standing position here, I drop into a burpee, I then go in between my legs, I go up and over my body, okay? Now, if you need to, we can scale that out, we can switch it up, there's a variety of things we can do, but that's the movement for today. 35 dubs, 15, 15, 5. Rest two minutes. Repeat for a pretty long time. <laughs> oh, man. All is good. Okay, guys. Let's get ready to party. I'm going to do my double unders on my mat. I like doing that. I'm going to do my devil's presses here. Now, before we get into this workout... Some of you want to think about it as like, what are your goals, okay? For me, my goals are to look up at the clock after round one and try and keep a consistent pace for 10 minutes, whatever that may be for me. And your goal should be about the similar. Now, you can scale the double under to single unders. You can scale it to just toe taps. Find what works for you. Let's have a heck of a time. I'm fired up for this one. 10 seconds, guys. Get ready. 35 dubs. We just got done doing these. If you're not warmed up by now, I don't know what to tell you. Here we go. Let's see if we can get these unbroken. I think we can. 
I know you can. Let's go. 35 dubs. Uh oh. All right. Once you get that accomplished, position it. Let's get it. Oh yeah, 15 is real. I don't know how you guys are feeling. We already got a lot of work done today, right? I feel a stretch coming on. I'm dropping my back knee to the floor, not trying to crush it, trying to keep my chest nice and tall. Play with different foot positions here. Find what works for you. For those of you who do push jerks, I'm almost thinking about like my landing position. Split jerks, excuse me. Here we go. Got in my 15, 15. Time for five devil's presses. Nice and smooth. All right, about two minutes in. Let's see, nice smooth pace there. Let's see if we can get four or five rounds here. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, that was a much better set. 15, 15, set up your split position, drive back. Feel a stretch in your hip flexor a little bit. If 15 is like impossible for you, okay? Decrease the range of motion you can, barely grazing the floor, or drop the rep scheme. It's about 15. Here we go. Get that split position. Chest nice and tall. Descend straight down. Straight down. Nice work, everybody. We're crushing this right now. We've already done so much. I don't know if you guys have realized it. All right, here we go. Five devil's presses. If you need to, step back, drop down to your knees, and if you have to, just perform a deadlift if your dumbbells are too heavy, okay? Find what works for you. I'm thinking about keep my chest nice and tall when I land here. So I'm in a strong, athletic position to drive those suckers up off the floor. All right. Here we go. About halfway. Take a couple deep breaths. Let's fight for that. All 35. Maybe we can do it. Let's go. Uh-oh. 
34. All right. Find your rhythm. See if you get your heart rate back down again. It's a great time for that. If you need to, and these are becoming really tough for you, instead, just do 15 air squats, right? So you're doing one on each leg, just go back to air squats. It's all good. As long as you're working, it's all we care about. Thirteen. Fourteen. All right. Last couple minutes. Let's see what we got. Nice and easy, consistent pace here, working for it. Oh, I love the devil's press. Takes your body a long range of motion, highly effective. If doing two is too tough for you, Switch out for one. All good. Here we go. Three minutes. Everybody ready? 35. Unbroken reps. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, we're moving now. Remember, if we need to, regular air squats. It's all good. If you're feeling really good, speed these up. You don't have one of these NC fit mats, you're really missing out. They help a lot. We designed them just for the burpees and for things like this. Here we go. Last couple minutes, and then you get a break. Okay, last 90 seconds. Right down and up. Ugh. Last couple. One minute left of work. We've been working for a pretty long time, actually. Ugh. All right, let's get back to those squats, huh? I think we can. I know we can. Ready. 35. All right, here we go. Last 30 seconds. Fifteen. Finish out your last 10 seconds strong. No matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing. Ah. 
and rest. Woo! That was fun. So, it's a good time right now to reflect on your first round. Ask yourself if maybe you paced a little bit too much. Could you have done a little bit better? And if the answer is yes, we'll improve on this next round. These last 10 minutes of working out we're doing, it's important to remind ourselves of all the work we've already accomplished. Think about it. We've already done what? Goblet lunges, presses, alternating sit-throughs and quad holds, 200 double unders, and uh, curtsy lunges, which those I got to get better at, I admit. And now we've been going for 10 minutes, okay? So this is the last 10 minutes, and then we're done. Whew. Remember, you can scale however you need to, right? You can go ahead and use a jump rope. You can not. You just do plate hops, dumbbell, uh, dumbbell hops, whatever you want. We have 10 minutes left, and then we're done for the day. Here we go. When this clock hits 12, we go. 10 minutes, and that's it, guys. You guys got this. Here we go. Last 20 seconds. Actually, you know, I'm going to restart it so you get a nice. Here we go. Ready. 35 doves, 15 squats. Let's get moving. Let's go, crew. Whatever you're at, whatever you're doing. All right, nice job. Now, remember, as I talked about on the last one, if you want to, just do these with me. 15, nice, easy squats. Chest nice and tall, okay, or switch out for the split. But if you are gonna squat, focus on weight towards your heel, chest nice and tall, and get that crease of your hip below that knee joint. Really important, working that full range of motion. Or, if you're here, chest is tall, Descend straight down. Boom. I'm trying to lock my front knee out, open my hip up a little bit. This is where I'm at. Or opposite way. I'm just descending straight down. Here we go. Finishing these up with you guys. Straight down, straight up. All right, I'm gonna move on. Here we go. Devil's press. Mentally prepare yourself. Drop to the floor. Let's go. If you need to, just do one arm. If you need to, drop to your knees. All good. If you forgot what number you're on, just do one more. All right. Do we can get 35 in a row? I don't know. I think we can. Three, two, one. Nice and smooth. Lost a little bit of mental focus there. Recalibrate it. All right. Let's get that split lunge. Excuse me, split squat. Six. 
All right, guys, so our clock stopped for a second. We have seven minutes left. Let's get it. We're on these split squats. Let's go. Woo! You know what happened? We we're getting too fired up over here. We have seven minutes remaining in this workout. When that clock hits seven, we are done for the day. Keep moving. 15 right leg, 15 left leg, etc. I was already on my other leg. I'm going to finish these up. You're right on my devil's presses. Wherever you're at, keep moving and grooving. Let's go. You know, these are pretty fun, actually. They're a lot different than usual. Here we go. A couple more seconds. Let's get on to those dumbbells. Guys, we only got about six minutes left. It's time for us to kick in the burners. All right, let's get one more of these if you're with them with me. All right, crew, we're back on dubs if you're with me. We have five and a half minutes left. Our apologies for the clock. Doesn't change the fact that we're grinding, we're working. 35, three, two, one, let's get it. This is probably happening to you too. All right, guys, here we go. Last five minutes of work. We've already done so much today, guys. Let's finish this out strong. Okay. All right. Switch legs if you're with me. Only got a few more minutes left. Okay, here we go. When this clock hits 3.30, we're halfway done with the remainder of this workout. Ready, five reps. I'm liking these beats, good beats today. Remember we reset the clock here guys. We reset the clock. So we're only going to seven. Here we go. Three minutes left. And we're done for the day. I'm gonna see if I can speed these up a little bit. Twenty-five. Darn it. All right, here we go. This is the move that takes the longest. I'm gonna try and get through a little bit quicker. Last two minutes, which means 
We'll probably get right back to here. Wherever you're at, let's go. All right, here we go. Last 90 seconds. Let's go, crew. You and me. All right, one minute, one minute. Well guys, we gotta get in the dubs. We know we're gonna get back to the squats. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's see if we can get them unbroken. Darn, come on Jay, you got this? All right, last 30 seconds, here we go. Two, three. I'm gonna see if I can get to my other leg. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, three seconds, let's go. Time. Woo. All right, guys. On behalf of myself and everybody at NC Fit, we just want to thank you for joining us with our NC Go workout. Today was probably not my best workout ever, and that's okay, right? I learned something, adapt, evolve, and move on. But at least I got after it, so did you. Keep crushing it. Let's keep getting after it. And thank you again from NC Fit. Let's go.